even if we're gonna rise and that's the profit we are an easy one hi guys my name is anna and i am a trader in binary options and i want to tell you one good news i have free telegram channels absolutely free where i post signals and we can actually trade together i'm just welcoming all of you who are into it or interested to just follow my links and find my telegram channels to trade together Hi guys, here is Miana at my desk at my packet options platform with the binary options. Trading, trading, trading and trading a lot of the times. I've been doing that every day for many hours and of course I do not recommend to you to do it like me because you're gonna get obsessed, <laughs> you're gonna get addicted and that may be not the bad thing. That's just like a coffee. The more you drink, the more you want to. So just look at me, how I trade, how I do make my mistakes or my profits. Sometimes that's the best, you know, that's the best cure from getting more and more of it just because this is my job. And anyway, I'm trying to be helpful and I'm trying to get you more profitable than more trading like me. <laughs> that was the mixed beginning, guys. Gotta get, I'm gonna get started. One minute right here. 700 for a start. Maybe you noticed me some creating <laughs> some extra noises. This is actually the bracelet that I cannot just take off because I just bought it on my recent trips and it was so, so good. I've been in Turkey if you miss it. And I'm just gonna be wearing that endlessly. 30 seconds for the candles, edX, average range, and the bullion bands as the indicators that actually gonna compose that strategy. Um, not an easy one because this is not the indicators that you actually can understand from the first glance or maybe even from the first try. And that combo, even I mean, the edX has three lines. Sometimes you need to ignore it. Sometimes you need to read carefully and um, that is already enough to be a little bit confused because this is not like RSEI and CCI uh, with the one line and that's it. And the average range, yeah. So um, there may be advantage of actually that strategy that it's based on three different types of indicators. And this is an advantage and disadvantage. Advantage that actually you can double check and disadvantage you need to understand all of them separately and all of them in combination. Let's just try it. I don't know, I'm in a mood to make it short I'm able to make it short just because I feel like if I'm gonna be talking too much with this type of indicators I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making all of you guys just confused so here is actually even without any indicators but a clear tendency the only fear that I'm actually having right now is it gonna be enough timing so we're not gonna get back that quite soon but we actually entered just in the beginning of the trend so we are quite in the upper part of that line so we have some space even to rise just a tiny bit average to range blue line showing us we're gonna get downward edX guys blue line showing us we're gonna get downward and what about the boundary bands uh, when it's narrow um, for us, the trend is going to be continuing, so it's not going to be the trend, but it's getting wider. We do expect that it's going to be the changing of the trend. Yep, and that's the profit. So we were right in time, but I got to think and overthink about that strategy and indicators, and I'm, I'm really, really got the feeling that I'm going to kill all the explanation today. <laughs> average to range showing us we gotta get downward and I made my bad of course we are actually at the bottom but uh, but I think it's gonna be all fine what about the ADX all the lines were actually parallel and now they're trying to be just in the one just in one scoop or something like that but the ADX line quite quite um, flat sorry for that noise and it's it actually means maybe it's not going to be the drastic falling 
but who knows? I mean, in that case, that it's a little bit complicated. And one of the bands showing us we're gonna get downward, so the whole thing of it gonna show us, guys, we're gonna get a little bit more downward. And uh, I wouldn't say that actually a tiny, tiny movement. And just out of all chart, it been actually predictable that we're gonna get downward. And the average range right here gave us the um, more precise info without any, yeah, without any thinking. And I would say that was quite a clear and easy one. And the only difficult moment right here was just in the beginning when you make the decision. What actually, which indicator you actually need to trust. Again, um, the tendency is clear. We gotta get downward, but the only moment right here as we enter just in the middle. Mm, yes, we enter just in the middle. They're actually, and that's the risk already. They're actually not a clear sense that we gotta get maybe quite, quite upward that soon so I think it's just playing and trying to kill my latest north south just the last um, but we are risking actually maybe I needed just to make that for the upward one because I think that's the plateau yes and never should been showing us that the plateau and the plateau means we're gonna be switching so we're gonna be playing here and there. Some of them just got profitable. I thought I was already silent just because, guys, this is just the defeat of defeat. But that's the plateau, as I told you. I mean, we entered not even in the middle as I was actually hoping for. We entered just in the end. That's the bad one, do not, <laughs> do not make it without any adults close to you let's try to let's try to, let's try to make these two last bats a better place a better ones than the previous one just been actually checking and double checking sometimes i do that even after i just made my bed and especially here um i don't know my scheme right here i make my i think a little bit then i make my bed i turn i turn on my camera before my bed i make my bed and then i started to think together with you guys so sometimes that's why you have this silent silent moments when i'm just like what i just done because when you think a lot just before that bad you may miss the timing and it doesn't matter how you were correct 15 seconds ago it's too late already so this is just i think the most difficult part of the trading you need to make your bad you have to think that fast to make your bad and then have one minute to think why you were right or wrong and when you were wrong that's that's the the real pain The last one. I don't know. I'm a, I'm sad. Not because I lost this, but because I cannot give you the right an easy recipe to that strategy. Because I don't love these indicators, you know. But it's not from your heart, not from the bottom of your heart, and you are just like, okay, I'm gonna trade it. Okay, I'm gonna try to handle that and let's just have the videos like that again that was quite easy i mean all situations were kind of look alike and the similar average to range been shown to us we're gonna get downward this time we weren't actually that at the bottom so we had some space not to break but to get more downward and now of course it is showing to us that we are rising but the entry point is that actually the perfect entry point because even we, even if we're gonna rise we just enter it at some perfect perfect point being that high that it almost had no risk just be done it's all profits i even couldn't be happy about the profit this time uh started with a you know 
with some excitement and end it with some like, okay, it's gonna be the latest video for the day. Just because when you are in the mood like, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what to do, this is not the spot when you need to continue. This is the spot when you need to get off and do the stuff that you love to do, maybe even scroll your Instagram or something like that and just relax. A tiny bit so guys anyway all the links just below this video or in my bio me being as i am everywhere but if you like it if you're interested you can join it for it.